Collared dove and turtle dove are two similarly marked small doves. Collared dove is a familiar and ubiquitous bird with almost one million pairs found commonly across the UK and Ireland year round. It's found in a range of lowland habitats, although almost always in association with humans and our buildings. Collared dove is a natural colonist from Asia, first arriving in the UK in 1955 and thereafter spreading rapidly across the whole of UK and Ireland. The bird is a soft, pastel, buff or buffy grey, with often pink highlights, especially on the chest and head, and shading to darker grey on the outer wings and tail feathers. If seen well, an attractive black collar with white edging can be seen on the back of the neck. Indeed, one of the old names for this bird was ring-neck dove. Although much smaller and slimmer than a wood pigeon, collared dove is still a relatively plump bird, with a long tail projecting well out beyond the wingtips. Turtle dove is a much rarer bird. Once familiar across farmland and heaths across much of England and Wales, but numbers have been falling for many years, the population having crashed by around 95% and the range contracting as well to southeast England, where even here they are becoming scarce for reasons that are not yet fully understood. Turtle dove is a summer migrant, arriving with us in mid-April and usually gone again by the end of August. It is a much more highly patterned bird than collared dove, with black centred russet back and wing feathers forming a tortoiseshell pattern, which is possibly the origin of its turtle name. It has a rich pink chest, pale belly, blue-grey wing panel and very long dark wingtips. Turtle doves are shy birds, much more likely to be found in hedges and copses away from human habitations. They often remain frustratingly hidden, but can sometimes be seen well, sitting on wires or on the ground, and a close view will also reveal a black and white striped neck patch and bold red eye ring. I often encounter turtle dove when flushed from the ground, and so my view is of a flying bird from behind. Turtle dove often forage on the ground for spilled seed and also grit, and sometimes they join collared doves, especially late in the summer, when they congregate on spilled grain, or on country lanes where they are after the fine grit for their crops. As the birds fly away, they display their most distinctive markings, allowing you to pick out the two species rapidly. There are several differences, but for me, by far the most obvious is the tail pattern, conveniently spread as well as the birds take flight. Turtle dove has a very striking tail pattern, a dark rump, a broad pure black tail band set off by a shining white outer tail band. Collared dove tail pattern is much more subtle. The rump is often noticeably paler than the rest of the body, the back and wings, and the tail grades gradually to a grey, with a pale grey or whitish outer band, altogether much less contrasting. In fact, the only strong black and white on collared dove is on the underside of the tail, which is predominantly white, with a black band formed by the base of the tail feathers near the body. Turtle dove shares this black and white undertail colouring, but overall has a black undertail with a shining white outer tail band, similar in width to the upper tail white edging. The rest of the body patterning is also distinctive, with collared dove having a buff grey back and wings, shading gently to a paler wing panel and then dark grey primaries. Turtle dove has a grey brown back, the russet wing feathers form rich colouring on the inner wings, with then a striking blue-grey outer panel, and with very strong dark grey outer wings, which are long and narrow, with much longer triangular wingtips. The bird overall is slighter, smaller and slimmer than collared dove, and this can be picked up even when seeing a distant flying bird. Along with turtle doves, faster, stronger, and yet more fitful and flickering wing beats, with the wings stiff and frequently held above the horizontal. If seen from below in flight, both birds give a different impression of light and dark again, with collared dove showing a medium dark body, pale inner wings and dark outer wings, whereas turtle dove has a very pale body, contrasting with medium grey underwings and very dark outer wings. Collared doves will breed and nest right the way through the year if the weather conditions allow, and so they can be heard singing year round as well. The song is familiar in the countryside, towns, cities and villages. A monotonous, repeated, three-syllable, cuckoo-cuckoo.
which is occasionally mistaken at a distance to cuckoo and is almost certainly the culprit when very early or out of season singing cuckoos are reported. The other bird collared dove song may be confused with is wood pigeon, which also sings a song consisting of a coo sound. But rather than the three syllables of collared dove, to my ear, wood pigeon song rhythm sounds like I don't know, do you? A five syllable song. Turtle dove has a very different sounding song, unique in this country and one unlikely to be mistaken. The gentle purring tur tur. Another more likely reason for the name turtle dove was once considered the sound of an English summer, but sadly now it is rarely heard. <laughs>